So welcome. Thanks, Brent. Um, Dan mentioned that we have these stakeholder meetings in D.C. Uh, three or four times a year, maybe uh, mainly around budget time and so forth. But uh, we haven't had a chance to come out and meet with the, we meet with your representatives in D.C. Usually you all can't make it out there, but but it's it's good to get out west as always, uh, kind of back to our roots. So good to see some familiar faces for, for me uh, from the stakeholders that we met. Uh, uh, over the last year and a half that I've been back in D.C. in particular. Uh, some of you I met in, in a series of 15-minute meetings at NWRA, and you'll forgive me if I don't have all of your family history from those meetings, but I was whining that I did 32 of them last year until I saw that Estevan gets to do 50 this year. So uh, that's, the, that's the good news for me. The bad news is I think I have to sit with him while he's doing 50, and I actually have to take notes this year. So uh, and I don't never get off off the hook. Um, we're going to be covering a few um, uh, kind of reclamation-wide topics uh, and then work our way down. Uh, Brent and some of his management staff here will be doing uh, regional-specific topics as we work our way through the agenda and leave some time for Q&As at the end. Um, I wanted to touch on a, on a few changes that are going on in D.C. As, as uh, you all know, Mike Connor moved on about uh, seven, eight months ago on to the from our commissioner to the deputy secretary uh, position, uh, which opened up the commissioner of reclamation position. Esteban was nominated shortly thereafter and has gone through the hearing and uh, is at this point uh, not yet got a floor vote. We're hopeful that in the lame duck session he will he will get that. But at this point, uh, the leadership wanted to get him in the building and get get uh, get moving. Uh, so. Uh, I'll let Estevan explain the uh, Vacancy Reform Act. Was that the? I think that's the name of the, the law that I'd never heard of before. But he's, his title, official title, is Principal Deputy Commissioner of Reclamation, uh, highest-ranking official within rec reclamation. So he has all the authorities that he needs to to, to run the organization. Um, you also may have heard that Ann Castle moved on recently out of the Assistant Secretary of Water and Science, uh, Jennifer Gimble who many of you know had been working for Reclamation as one of our deputy commissioners. She has moved into Anne's position as assistant secretary, and she also is not yet confirmed. So she's, her official title is also a principal deputy assistant secretary. So she, her business cards get, get large. Um, and then, of course, closer to home, uh, Larry Wachowiak. Uh, 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 we introduced Brent as the acting uh, regional director. Larry uh, left us a little quicker than we expected. Uh, we hope to see him. Some of us get hope to see him on this trip. I think his health is rebounding. So all of, all good thoughts out to Larry. So um, and I'm sure you all uh, hopefully will get a chance to see him yourselves here. I think I overheard maybe later this fall, Brent, that uh, that Larry is going to try to get together with folks. So um, with that. I will go ahead and introduce our principal deputy commissioner, Estevan Lopez. Uh, I was going to give introductory remarks, but I saw his talking points, and he seen, I think he knows them better than I do, so I'll let him cover that. I will say that uh, my wife uh, took his wife around touring D.C. last week and ended at a winery, which uh, this time cost Estevan money and not me. I think uh, I think Suzanne paid, but I think the one thing he and I have in common is we both married well, and uh, uh, so by all accounts things are are uh, uh, great on the home front for Estevan. It, I know exactly what it's like leaving the family and coming going back to D.C. It's it's a uh, it's a heavy lift. So we really do appreciate you stepping up, Estevan, and really look forward to working for you. And uh, so with that, I'll turn it over to the Principal Deputy Commissioner Lopez.